So that has begun. Uh, first off, I do want to thank everyone for joining us. My name is Allison. Uh, my business partner, Tony. Say hi, Tony. Hi. There you are. Um, we are the owners of Blue Lion, and we put this uh, session together today. We're really fortunate to have a lot of great presenters with us today. Um, with everything going on in the world, the job market is not really changing. It's still really hard to find great employees and maintain them and retain them. Uh, so we thought this year it would be a great time, since everyone is loving the virtual life, to get some partners together and put together this series talking about different benefits that you could be offering to your staff. So we really appreciate everyone taking the time. The session was originally scheduled to go till 1130, about an hour and a half. I think we're going to wrap up under that. Um, we do have a lot to cover, um, so we are going to ask that you hold the questions until the end. Uh, real quick, a little bit about Blue Lion. Um, Tony and I started the business in 2018, focusing on providing authentic and real HR to small businesses in New England. Um, I have a background in HR and operations with a master's from the University of New Hampshire. Tony has a background in HR. Um, she also has a master's in HR from Southern New Hampshire, and she is also dual certified with Sherm CP and the PHR. So we're kind of smart. <laughs> Just a quick overview of what we're going to be covering today. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but we do have a jam-packed day with a lot of great things, a lot of great presenters, a lot of benefits you may have never thought of. Um, I know we have a lot of partners on here, whether bookkeepers or payroll companies, um, CPAs. There's a lot of great benefits that you can then forward on to your, your employees and your populations, employers. So we are going to kick it right off into high gear, waste no time. We're going to start off with Andy Wingham. Andy Wingham comes from Edwards Jones. He is a financial advisor. Um, also, real quick, we are going to be providing a single document to all participants with everyone's contact information. So do not feel like you need to write any of this information down. Andy. Thanks, Allison. And you know, thank you to Ashley and Tony and Allison for uh, putting this together and inviting me. Appreciate the opportunity. Um, this morning, I'd like to talk a little bit about the importance of employee education. If you have employees, whether that's 50 employees or whether that's one employee, you, the, you can offer benefits that may cost you a tremendous amount of money. And many times, if the employees don't understand what they are, they don't, they're not taking advantage of them, then that money is completely wasted on your, on your side of things. Um, people come to us, we, we need a 401k plan, we need you know, a simple plan, we need a set plan. Really, a lot of times we like to just strip that down and talk about, let's just see what your employees need, let's see where they're at, let's see what they would appreciate, what they would wanna take advantage of. Let's educate them about what is out there. And if you do decide to go down one of those paths, then we can create some uh, education on an ongoing basis for them so that they're making sure that they're taking advantage of the programs that you are putting in place. Many times, small businesses in particular do not need to spend any money on those benefits. We can offer a, a much more valuable service to you, to your staff, by just coming in and whether it's meeting one-on-one -on -one with them or whether it's providing an ongoing series of workshops in person or now through Zoom, lunch and learns, things along those lines that will speak specifically to the different things that we can, that the different ways that clients can invest, protect themselves on the insurance side, take advantage of a 401k if it's in place. We're going to approach it from an educational standpoint and take some of the fear out of you know, and the, a lot of people don't understand exactly what's going on. So that's what most employees want. You know, if, if you tell them we've got a 401k, we're going to match 3% on your 6% and we're going to do this, do that. That's wonderful. That's part of the battle. But you know, just as importantly, they want to understand, they want some context as to what they're doing and what impact it's going to have on them. And that's where a personal approach, a hands-on approach is going to come in where those workshops that we do are often a way to break down the barrier and just provide them the basics around what is a 401k, what is a Roth IRA, why would I possibly need life insurance? I just had kids, you know, I, I know I need to start saving for college education. You, most people understand that what they want to achieve, they have no idea how to put that plan in place. We can come in individual basis, ongoing basis, quarterly, monthly, 
and just break down some of those barriers, provide some simple ideas that will allow them to uh, understand better what they're trying to accomplish. Go ahead and uh, slide if you could. There are a lot of tools out there. People start seeing this, you know, whether they whether it's a business owner or whether it's um, an employee, they start seeing all these things. They don't know exactly what it means. And most people have four or five different financial goals that they're trying to accomplish at any given time. And they have no idea how to organize that. They don't have an endless bucket of money. And therefore, when they start figure, start to attack these different things or start to look at them, maybe at tax time, their, their tax person says, you know, if you put money into your 401k, you would have saved money on taxes. They don't know exactly what that means. They don't know if that's a good idea. They don't know how, whether they're going to access that, be able to access that money or not. Again, we're going to base it on education. We're going to come in and be able to take the fear and uh, the mystery out of exactly what those things can do. There's no such thing as one size fits all. You know, we're going to be able to talk to them about this ex is exactly what a Roth IRA is. And then by sitting and talking with the individual, we can figure out whether or not that's a great idea for them. Just because their best friend, their neighbor is doing something doesn't mean that it's a great idea for them. So we would love the opportunity to have a conversation with you and see if some of these workshops make sense. They can be very broad based around just you know, generally what, does the, what are the options as far as how to invest and why. And it can get down to some of the nitty gritty like college savings, like long-term care, you know, depending on what your population is for your employees, you know, they're going to have very different needs on those fronts. And employees that see that their employer truly cares about their future and wants to help them to make a difference are going to be much more loyal. And that is a benefit that you're going to get much more mileage out of. And in a lot of cases we find it literally costs you nothing. So thank you again for having me this morning. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing everybody else's presentation. Awesome. Thanks so much, Andy. Um, I think one of the highlights I take away from Andy's is that it can be free. I know as an employer, we're always looking for ways that we can add benefits and not have to ask for more money. Everyone in HR hates asking for more money when it comes to benefits. Andy's got a great way that we can do that without having to have a cost. Next, we are going to take a little bit more relaxing approach. After you're done talking about how awesome your finances are, we're going to move over to Shay. Uh, Shay Sturette, um, mm -hmm. go ahead. All right. I think there's a few more pieces on that slide, Allison. Yeah, there yes, we go. Yes, I will pop them up. Uh, <laughs> so I am a holistic wellness practitioner. And um, what that means is, as we've seen over the last couple of years, you know, people have been taking a lot of prescriptions for a long time. And people are starting to shift into a mindset where they want to take a little bit more of a holistic approach to their wellness. And so the things that I'm doing are yoga, meditation, yoga therapy, mindfulness and mindset coaching, um, Reiki, sound healing, some of which seems a little bit esoteric to people, <laughs> um, but it really does wonders um, for people's wellness in terms of clearing their mind helping them feel really good in their body and just helping them find a lot more flow. And when you look at that from the perspective of a manager or a boss or a business owner, if people feel good in their body, if people's minds are clear, they're going to be a lot more productive and a lot more creative. Um, a quote that I found was every $1 invested in employee wellness yields about three to $4 in savings and switch. <laughs> And so with, with workplace wellness, the, the two things I did here, as you can see, is looking at return on investment versus the value of investment. And so right away, you can see some of these workplace wellness tips can significantly costs. And so what that would look like is um, you could do a weekly yoga class, either in person or virtually. You could have um, someone like myself come in once a week and do sound healing sessions. I know a lot of corporate wellness um, programs tend to focus on getting a gym membership or having a massage therapist come in for 10 or 15 minutes per employee a week, but something like a sound healing or a yoga therapy session or some private meditation classes can, can really, really help um, employees feel better at work, have a more positive mindset, 
um, be more productive. And in terms of like being innovative in the market, if you look at some of the most successful businesses out there, Facebook, Google, they have yoga people coming in. Sometimes they're on staff. Um, so these really successful businesses are bringing in these holistic practices because it's great for the culture. It makes people want to stay and it makes people want to work harder when they know that their business really cares about them. And you can see just some reference to that here, you know, in terms of reducing employee turnover, um, and if you look at the cost of hiring a new employee, it goes anywhere from 16% to 213%, especially when you start to get into that like vice president role, as somebody in executive leadership. So if you're able to hire a great employee and keep them by having these awesome benefits, you're just saving so much money, which you can reinvest into your business. Um, the other thing that these kinds of workplace wellness tools can help with is reducing sick leave. Um, reducing people coming to work because they're feeling sick, what we call presenteeism. And then the overall just reducing stress and helping people more, be more resilient. Um, two things that really help with that is mindfulness and meditation. Um, so one of the things that I've also done is, you know, I can take these different wellness practices and break them into a lunch and learn. Um, so for example, teaching people three ways to meditate at work. So there's lots of ways to break these a little more esoteric ancient practices down so it's really applicable to the modern world. And then I kind of already touched on this. These are the services that I offer. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've created a virtual wellness practice. So it doesn't always have to be in person or on site. Um, I also can offer more one-on-one -on -one lifestyle coaching, um, the lunch and learns on site or virtual appointments. So thank you. So Tony from Blue Lion, and I want to discuss a little bit about how our employees don't have time for things, right? When we're trying to talk about different benefits, we like to always say what's happening in the workplace, but a lot of the stress comes from what's happening at home. Here's a really unique thing you can provide as a suggestion for information to employers to give to your employees. I know I'm the worst. I'm like, oh crap, there's a holiday. Oops, there's an anniversary. Oops, something new. All of a sudden I have no time. I'm running to Walmart, running to Goodwill, wherever I'm going, not Goodwill, that'd be weird. Um, here's a great solution for that. The House of Hens is a gift service. So it's personal gift subscription service. You choose what you want to receive, who you want to receive the gift. And it's a monthly subscription fee, anywhere between 30 to hundred dollars, depending on what you want and how many gifts you're trying to send. Shannon does the shopping for you and then she, you look like a hero. She can ship anywhere in the United States. She can ship it to you wrapped and ready to go. She tells you exactly what's inside the package. It's to you ahead of time and everything you're looking for is in there. You fill out the information of the slide that you're looking for um, to have all the people that you want to have shopped for shopped for. It saves you time and it's money that you're already going to spend. Here's her page, the House of Hens. So you subscribe to it, you figure out what you want, you can pick a one-time gift and it provides time back to your employees. So instead of them rushing out, trying to find a gift for that birthday, find a gift for that anniversary, find a gift for Christmas, find a gift for Mother's Day, this happens for you. You fill out everything you need to know about your mom, your boyfriend, your husband, your sister, your, your best friend, whoever it is. Shannon tells you ahead of time, right before the gift is due, has anything changed? Does she want something new? Does he want something new? She tells you everything that's in there. If there is a receipt for anything specific in case there needs to get a return, all of that's included. So just sharing these kinds of things with your employees they might not know exists, letting them know it's out there, gives them that resource to give themselves time and reduce the stress. So it's a unique benefit that is not a cost to employer, but is just a cool way to tell your employees, this is out there for you. Why not take some of the stress off of you? Next, I want to introduce a good friend of mine, Jarrell Smith. He is with AFLAC. He is a good partner to us. He does voluntary employee benefits. I know we all know the duck, AFLAC, but Jarrell has been with AFLAC for quite some time, um, and he really knows how to make it work with the insurance that you have going on. Jarrell? Thank you. If you yep. So if you, um, I want to thank Blue Lion for the opportunity to speak today. I, I definitely wanted to get I have this as a platform to reach out to HR managers because I do believe AFLAC is a really, really good tool that they can leverage for their, uh, their staff and their employees. First thing I'll do is I'll talk about, you know, what are the areas that AFLAC focuses on? 
focuses on. Those are the industries. There's only three. Um, and one of them is we look at how do you insure against individuals out of pocket costs as it relates to health insurance or health care. So we focus on these products here to basically what we call in the market, fill that gap so that employees are able to insure against that cost can be pretty, pretty high uh, when you start adding your family into to the mix. Next, what Affleck focuses on, which is pretty much what's got us into this market is um, income replacement. A lot of times due to this COVID, I'm having more and more conversations where individuals are saying, you know what? I now see why my um, basically have to be in a position where I insure against my income, because if I lose that income, it sets up a treacherous situation for my family going forward. So now they're starting to look at short term disability as an opportunity to basically make sure they fill in that gap. And then finally, uh, we provide um, a service that basically provides for final protection for your family. Um, Sad to talk about this. Sometimes people pass away during their working career. Uh, our plans are designed to basically provide that financial um, uh, input for the family so that they continue on with their life. Next slide. Next slide. Now what I'll do is I'll talk about how I work uh, with human resource uh, managers. A lot of times what someone said early on, it's all about uh, attracting and retaining talent. Um, we have solutions that focuses on that. There's also a large percentage of times when I'm talking to uh, HR managers, they want high value benefits. Um, that's gonna be addition to health insurance that's affordable to their employees that the employees have to pick up some of the costs. They also want cost neutral um, benefits administration and management of the employee benefits. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. And then the other one, which I just bring to the table, which I know in most cases, HR is here, building that pressure from the top management is how do you be able to get this information and manage all this system, but don't impact productivity in a huge, huge way. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Next slide. So how does AFLAG do this? Uh, in terms of attracting um, talent and, re and, and, and your top talent and uh, retaining them, what we keep finding in the research that we do every single year is you need to have a complete health care uh, insurance package for your employees. If they're going to leave another competitor to come to you, your packages cannot be the same. You have to offer something different that's going to give them an edge, which is really sorted around what their needs are. Someone said that early on. It really is about their needs. Affleck basically fills in that gap that allows for people to have a complete health insurance package. Next, it's very affordable. Uh, if you look at the, the prices of our plans, uh, which will basically fill that gap, $7 a week, all the way up to about $1,500 a year for an individual. So it's very, very um, inexpensive, but it provides high value to your employees. Next, we'll talk about the uh, benefits administration. I add this in all of the deliverables I do with my clients. Um, the education portion, the simplification of enrollment and claims process. I'm involved in all of these aspects to make sure that the employees get all the benefits that they need and they can make the right decisions in terms of the plans that are best fitted for their families. Next is because of this whole COVID, everyone's trying to figure out, okay, how do we basically get you in front of our employees, but we can't have you on site. Affleck has created a whole system that I love that allows me to touch my clients where they're most comfortable. Some people like to communicate through text. I was doing that yesterday with some of my clients. Some like on-site, some like remote. Some of my clients like me to work with them on the weekends. Whatever suited to their needs, it's no additional cost to your employees to basically have access to that um, capability. And then finally, I'll, I'll end this with uh, value-added services. I love this about Affleck because what they do is they subsidize the cafeteria 125 plan 
for our clients, not only for AFLAC plans, but also for major medical insurance. So it takes that cost away from the business owner to allow for us to provide uh, pre-tax plans um, to the employees. And then the other one that everyone's talking about right now is telemedicine. AFLAC this year decided to basically uh, subsidize this as well. It's a great value add for um, organizations and love to see how this takes advantage. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Darrell. That's great information. I know a lot of us, as Tony mentioned, have heard of the doc, but I don't think we always necessarily know everything that AFLAC encompasses and all the different types of benefits that they can bring to your business. We are going to pivot a little bit right now. I'm going to talk about a company called Pledge 1%. Uh, this is actually an organization that Tony and I found several years ago and have brought on um, and made the pledge. So one of the things when we're talking about being competitive and staying creative is it's not just about the benefits we're giving. So Tony had talked about House of Hens. That's a benefit where, you know, you're just letting your employees know. This benefit talks more about the culture of your business. So a lot of times when we're attracting employees, we need to make sure that we have something they can believe in. Pledge 1% is a nonprofit that gets organizations together in hopes that they will pledge to do either one or all of these things. So pledging 1% of your equity, 1% of your time, 1% of your product, or 1% of your profit. At Blue Lion, we've chose to pledge three of these items, our time, product, and profit. Um, but this is a great thing a company can do where it, it does cost, because obviously each one of these things we're pledging does have a dollar value to it. But by putting that badge and that representation on our business, we're saying that we care about our community. A lot of us know those millennials love to have an impact. They want to work at a company that they know is doing good. This is a way that you can actually put that on the forefront of your business and say, you know, this is something that we are committing to doing. Again, you can choose to just pledge one of these. So you could just say, okay, we're going to do 1% of our time. And then everyone in our organization has the opportunity to donate their time, you know, to a charity of choice. Um, the information again is at the bottom of the slide and we'll, we'll also share that at the end. Next, we are going to jump into nutrition in motion. Jennifer Wall is going to be presenting on this topic. Uh, Tony and I with Blue Lion have used their services several times. Great program. They've expanded it over the last couple of years. So I'll let Jennifer go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Thanks so much. So one of the questions that we're constantly asking ourselves at Nutrition in Motion is what are the biggest challenges that employers, employees, insurance brokers, HR professionals, what are the biggest challenges that people are facing as, uh, as far as offering wellness in the workplace? Um, so, and we can go to the next slide. Um, so we talked about a couple of different categories, um, but I wanted to focus on two today, and that's challenges for the employer and challenges for the employee. So a lot of times what we're hearing from employers is that time, resources, employee engagement, um, support from leadership, and money are the biggest challenges that they're facing. You know, just a couple of things. <laughs> um, but in spite of all of these challenges, when we take a look at the numbers, um, when we take a look at the numbers, we know that wellness needs to be a part of the conversation. So up to 75% of claims are in, in many cases related to preventable disease, diseases and lifestyle choices. Um, but when we're looking at numbers, we wanna make sure that we're not just focused on the numbers because each of those numbers represents a human, an individual person that works for our company um, that is struggling with chronic disease or chronic illness, um, that is feeling sick and, and struggling. Um, however, employees are facing challenges too. So they might feel like they have a lack of resources, a lack of support, conflicting information around nutrition and wellness. Um, and then the, the biggest challenge that, um, that we, we come across is that lack of self-efficacy. So understanding that there's a need to change, um, understanding that there are resources to change, but not feeling, uh, not feeling like you know, that individual can make the change themselves. Um, and then when we talk about employee wellness, uh, you know, offering services in the workplace, privacy becomes a part of that conversation as well. Um, so we want to overcome that, that challenge. So as we're asking ourselves these questions, we're looking for solutions. How do we overcome these challenges? How do we help employers offer affordable programs that fit in their schedule? How do we overcome these challenges for the, uh, for the employees? Um, and we're happy to report that we have 100% satisfaction in our, um, in our participants from our programs. Um, we really 
focus on these, uh, these highlighted terms here, engaging, empowering, um, and improving the lives of the people that we work with. Um, so that's all well and good, right? We're overcoming challenges, but what is it exactly that we do? We provide customized wellness solutions. If there's one thing that you walk away with today, I want you to be thinking nutrition in motion, customized wellness, because we know that wellness is not one size fits all. It doesn't make sense on the individual side of things, and it doesn't make sense for employers to try to offer a one size fits all solution. We take the burden off of your staff, making sure that uh, making sure that when we're implementing a program, we're not asking you to do more work um, and add another thing to your plate. We want to take that work away from you, take that burden off of you. We want to increase employee engagement. A wellness program is only effective if people are participating, being engaged, and actually taking steps to change their behaviors and change their life. Um, and then we want to make sure that it's a collaborative process. So constant communication and collaboration uh, to identify what the needs are, what the challenges are, and how we can offer a solution that fits. Um, so as we look at what our actual program options are, we have standalone services. So we can do something as simple as a lunch and learn or a series of lunch and learns um, either online or on site in the workplace. We can offer one-on-one -on -one meetings with a registered dietitian either on site or online. We have multi-week programs that we've put together to tackle a number of issues that we know to be pervasive in our uh, employee populations. Um, and then we also have programs that can be completely customized over an annual term um, that can offer and include biometric screening, outcomes tracking, and everything in between. Um, so all of this is well and good. We've heard from a number of people today about how, um, you know, why wellness is important, but you know, what, is, uh, what does that mean as far as the bottom line? Well, our programs are not built to break the bank. We offer affordable pricing, and in many cases, we are able to cover our programs by insurance. So our, all of our practitioners are licensed and registered dietitians. Our programs are built in a foundation of nutrition, tackling a number of wellness-related um, wellness challenges. And we work with employers to understand what their existing coverage is, right? We're talking about non-traditional benefits today. Um, so this is, this is a, a way to leverage the benefits that are already in place to offer a, a value-added service to, uh, to employees. Um, we offer pre-authorization services, so we're not just flying blind either. Um, this is a part of our customization and collaboration. Um, and then we do have affordable um, out-of-pocket pricing as well. So our, our vision is, and we believe that people can feel good and feel good about themselves. Our goal is to offer employee wellness because we know that people are spending the majority of their time at work, um, you know, like Allison said before the presentation started, sometimes, you know, back to back meetings that don't even allow for a moment of self care. So this is a way for employers to support employee wellness um, and and work with a company that really truly believes that um, that wellness is achievable for every single person. So, thank awesome. you for having me. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. And we've worked with Jen and Nutrition in Motion for so many of our clients. And the what they do is really important because it really shifts the way we think about healthcare. Um, I like to call healthcare sick care because normally they only care about you when you need to go to the hospital or the doctor or whatever. And Nutrition in Motion really focuses on that preventative care. What's going on? Do you know your information? Do you know your numbers? All that stuff. So like she said, it's super affordable and a lot of times covered through insurance. So it's a zero cost to your employees. All right, we're going to pivot again. Um, so what is SitterStream? Well, if we have any parents on the, on the call, if we have anybody who has employees that are parents on the call, anybody who's heard of what we've discussed a few times, COVID, that terrible word that most of us wish has never entered our mouths or our brains, uh, SitterStream is a really unique um, business. So what they do is they offer virtual babysitting, tutoring, and wellness programs. And they offer 30, 60, or 90-minute one-on-one babysitting sessions on demand virtually. Here's a unique piece of this. A lot of our parents, whether they're, you know, moms or dads or grandparents, you know, all kinds of different people are at home with kids right now. And a lot of us are trying to do dual duty. We're at work and we are parents that are teaching. And it's hard for us to do both. Um, or some of our kids maybe aren't in school, whatever it may be. If you have these struggles, SitterStream is a really unique business that helps provide support to you. And a lot of us think to ourselves, if we have children in, ch in childcare, for example, oh, we have a second child or a third child. Well, that increases our expense two or three times. SitterStream is really unique. If you have multiple children in the home, 
it is still the one cost. It's a one child cost and additional kids that are in your home get included into it. So it's very, very affordable. And it's a resource that so many parents need right now. Um, they offer a lot of different tutoring, math, English, science, foreign language. A lot of our kids are doing different things and this offers that opportunity for them to have the additional support that's needed as well as virtual preschool. Maybe we only need 90 minutes of the day to have somebody cover and pay attention to our kids. These are licensed educators that are coming on, talking to your child one-on-one, -on -one, or if you have multiple kids in the house. So it's a very unique thing. I think we're going to see more and more of it. If you're looking for a resource to provide to your uh, employees that are parents or stay-at-home parents working at home as well, this is a great opportunity to share that this information is for them. The cost is not that expensive either. Sometimes it's anywhere between 50 to about $100 maybe, depending for a day of, or two or three days, 90 minutes, whatever it is of service. So feel free to share that information with them as well. So next we're going to have Arthur Sebi from Gift of Choice. Um, it's another unique style benefit about gift giving. Art, go ahead and take it away. Thanks, Allison. Again, I'm Art Sebi. I'm with the Certificate Company. Uh, thanks for the time to talk to you a little bit today about our gift of choice program. Um, first of all, certificates, we've been in business for 65 years in the employee incentive and recognition industry. Uh, our gift of choice program is a unique, a unique program where instead of you giving a gift that's kind of a one size fits all for your employees, they can actually go on to our, uh, our rewards website or browse our, our catalog and choose a gift that fits them individually. Uh, so it's great for employee anniversaries, milestone events like that, holiday gifts, or really any other recognition that you want to give to your employees. Um, our online rewards offering has hundreds of uh, today's top brands. So again, your employees go on there and they can really find something that suits them. Um, We have uh, three different ways that you can incent you can reward your employees. We have gift booklets. Those are physical presentations that are sent out to your employees. Uh, we can send them directly to their home, especially if, especially um, a benefit right now with COVID with a lot of uh, employees working remote. We can send them to your office and you can distribute them. Uh, then we also have uh, gift cards. Again, those are shipped out. And then we have, uh, we can do a completely online operation as well, where we email gift codes either directly to your participants, or we can email them to you and you can distribute to the, them to your employees. And what they do with the online gift codes is they go onto our website, they type in their gift code, and then they can browse the catalog and choose, choose an item that they'd like then delivered directly to them. We have 17 different gift levels, so it's very easy to find a um, to find a, uh, a level that suits your budget for any milestone award that you'd like, or any any holiday gift or other other recognition. Again, we offer custom websites as well. We have a stock website that we have that your participants can go on and browse the gallery, or we can go ahead and build a website out for you uh, with your graphics, your color scheme, your logos, custom messaging, so that they go on and have a more personalized, uh, a personalized touch there. We also have principal certificates on that as well that you can build into your website. And basically the, the main, the main point of our program is to give, give an experience or a lasting remembrance. Um, again, with this, you get the personalized touch of the presentation, you get them going on and actually choosing their gift, and then they receive their gift. So they get kind of that lasting remembrance three times. And again, you can incentivize with cash or gift cards or something like that, but that really doesn't have any lasting remembrance. Uh, if I got, if I received cash or if I received a gift card, I'd probably go put gas in my car, toothpaste, toilet paper, if I can find it at the moment, uh, or something like that. Where this, you're going to go online, you're going to find something that you really, really like. Um, and then somebody asks you, where did you get that handbag? Oh, that was because my company rewarded me for my 10 year anniversary. And then I'll touch on one, one final uh, per platform that we have as well, in case you don't want to do the gift of choice. We also have a points program. Um, this is one centralized 
enterprise-wide solution for rewards and recognition management. It's run off of a, a currency of points. You add the points in for any reason that you want to incentivize your employees, and then they can they can spend that just like an online bank account in the rewards gallery. Uh, quick to implement, user-friendly, and this is also good if you have employees that are outside of the United States. We have um, in-country fulfillment in 89 different countries. So I appreciate your time. Again, uh, if, you, if you'd like to schedule a demo or anything like that, please uh, reach out to us. The best way to, uh, to demo our program is, um, is live over the internet with you. With you. Um, so if you'd like to, please reach out to our sales team. Thank you so much, Art. Um, and we love that mentality of being able to provide more customized gift giving. I think in a world where, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, everyone got a clock with their name on them at a 10 year anniversary. A lot of people want different things. Some people still love the clock, um, but some people do want to have more customized solutions. So uh, this is a great opportunity to see some more customized deliverable things for your organization that kind of fits your budgetary needs. Next, we have Clifford Padford, uh, Pafford, oh, forgive me, Cliff, um, and he is with Legal Shield, and he'll be discussing how we can protect our employees and how they can protect themselves. Take it away, Cliff. Perfect. Thank you, Allison and Tony, for setting this up um, and Ash for the back end. So, Legal Shield, in a nutshell, nutshell, allows people access to the legal system with one flat fee on a monthly basis. slide. Okay, you're coming. All right. So one of the things to re realize about this benefit that this is a use now benefit. This is not something like an insurance or a retirement, which are great benefits, but they only come into play later on. This is a benefit that is available for employers and employees as soon as they sign up. So a lot of uh, members' concerns that are happening during COVID are a little different than they were before. We're seeing a lot of, of our Legal Shield members wanting to resolve landlord-tenant issues. They're having problems with refunds for canceled events. Um, they're also having issues with um, whether they have their you know, estate documents in place. Most people in the United States do not have a will. I mean, as some people like Chad Bozeman, the Black Panther um, actor who has a lot of assets and a lot of residual income, there's no will to deal with that. So one of the be basic benefits of Legal Shield is that every member is immediately eligible for a will a healthcare proxy and a financial uh, directive and power of attorney. Slide. And this has four fly-ins, I think. So the legal, uh, legal product works on an app where you punch a button and you get access directly to lawyers if it's emergency, or you get um, access to a lawyer within four to eight hours, depending upon what you're asking them to do. So I use this for things like when I get a new set of terms and conditions on my credit card, I, I scan them, I fax them over to, and then email them over to the uh, lawyer, uh, the lawyer, lawyer firm. And within four hours, I got a call back and they said, what are we trying to find out here? And I said, I just want to know what I need to know, what's happening here that I should be aware of, which was very valuable. They told me three things. They're lowering your rate. They are going to a daily balance interest calculation as opposed to the average daily for the month. And they're also forcing you to arbitration. So I, you know, this allows you to review contracts, review documents, and when needed, hit the button and you have a call with a lawyer, not with a paralegal or a secretary, you get instant access to your law, law firm. So I want to talk a little bit about one of the other products that we offer. Uh, we offer an ID theft restoration and repair product. 
that is something that we will re repair your ID and your privacy to the state it was in the day before the breach happened. There are a lot of services out there that are notifications services, uh, mainly based around financial transactions. This is more robust. We look at things that the criminals are now going after. They no, no longer want to just take your financial information. They want to take your whole identity. And what's happened with the breaches, the number of breaches that have happened, people are now selling on the dark web, evidently, full individual portfolios where your name, your address, work history, social, passport number, they've created a whole identity so that they can sell it to somebody who can then pretend, pretend to be you. So what's happening in COVID and, you know, just like on the legal side, our use of the wills have gone up 67% since COVID started. People are experiencing all sorts of different scams that are happening based on COVID and what people are trying to do. There's been a lot of effort to get healthcare uh, ID numbers, calling in and acting like you're the telemedicine person and you're getting next week's point, appointment set up. So we've seen a lot of these scams going on. So we monitor most of these things so that we're watching what's happening for you. Again, this one runs uh, on an app. You're gonna get a uh, three bureau credit score check every month. We're gonna monitor all these things, social media accounts, mortgages, 401ks, uh, your social and your medical ID numbers and your license information. We have a client, uh, a member down in Connecticut who was arrested for a fight in a bar in a bar he had never been in. Somebody had stolen his license and address and put that with their picture on a fake license and he was arrested. This is happening all over the country. And now California is actually requiring you to appear in person to resolve that kind of theft. This program has a billion dollar insurance policy with it that will help cover your out-of-pocket costs to help if you need to do those kind of things. So you're gonna be assigned a licensed private investigator and we're gonna do whatever it takes for as long as it takes and we'll clear your records for life. So this, uh, this benefit is set up for individuals, families, or as an employee benefit. We offer it as an employee benefit where the employer doesn't pay for it. There's a zero cost benefit where the employees are paying for the benefit. If they buy a family plan, the member is covered, the member's spouse. If they have domestic partners, all you have to do is indicate that they're your uh, domestic partners and they're covered in the family. And then up to 10 minor dependents up to the age of 18 on the ID sh shield. On the legal shield, if they are full-time students or live at home still, they are co covered to 26. And if you are the guardian for somebody with dis disabilities that lives with you, they are covered for life on the family plan. So thank you very much for your time. Um, Allison, if it's okay, I'm gonna drop a link. There's a presentation at two o'clock for business owners that I'd like to drop that link in. Awesome, thanks Clifford. And All thanks right, I'll drop that link in the, and I'd love to talk with everybody about your situations. Awesome, thanks Clifford. And I think one thing that Clifford highlighted here is you know, something that we've kind of highlighted a lot today, which is the uncertainty a lot of people have through COVID. A lot of things causes stress. Obviously we know as business owners and employers, when your employees are stressed and they have outside factors weighing them down, they tend to not be quite as productive. Um, that leads me into our next one that we're going to talk about, which is remote car care. Um, some of the other items that we're highlighting today talk about that work-life balance. And the one thing that even working from home and all of this, you know, adjusting, we still never have enough time. There is a company called Bob and Sons Automotive. They're located in Manchester, New Hampshire. They offer a great service where they work with employers to provide assistance for car repairs while your employees are working. 
So if you're in the greater Manchester area, they'll actually come to your place of work, pick up your car, bring it back to their shop. They'll do the work that needs to be done, whether it's an inspection, an oil change, getting your brakes changed out. Then they return the car to your work. So the entire time I've not left my office, I'm still being productive, yet I have the benefit of getting my car taken care of. I can't tell you the number of times we've had employees call in and say, I'm going to be late. I have to go to get my car fixed or I'm going to need Tuesday off. I'm going to be in the, in the shop all day with my car. Bob and Sons is located in Manchester. We do have their contact information here, but definitely if this is something you're interested in, reach out to your local shops in whatever area you're located in. Again, another value added benefit that is costing $0 for the employer. I'm merely just connecting my employees with a great resource that's local that can help facilitate these needed things uh, when it comes to that work-life balance again. Next, we are going to talk about what everyone loves, animals. So we are going to hear from Lisa Stedman from FIGO, if my slide would advance. Um, this She's gonna be covering pet insurance. Go ahead, Lisa. Lisa, you are muted. Such a rookie, rookie move. Pet insurance is the best, most exciting thing that I work with. And one in three Fortune 500 companies is offering pet insurance now. It's not as uncommon as it used to be. In Sweden, 42% of pets are insured. Um, in the UK, it's 30%. But here in the US, it's only about um, 2%. But that's doubled in the last couple of years. Next slide, please. <laughs> Um, it's quickly becoming the most requested employee benefit. Um, and that's because two thirds of your employees uh, have pets, most likely. 75% of millennials have pets and they rank benefits among uh, the top considerations when they're joining a new company. Um, it helps to align your culture with the values of your employees and, and it creates a more inclusive culture. Um, also, it helps with retention. Um, stay competitive by offering the benefits that are most requested, and certainly pet insurance is one of the most requested at this time. Next slide. Um, most people see pets as their dependents, um, and they're thinking to themselves, is every member of my household covered? Um, it's a part of a complete health insurance package these days. Uh, it gives your employees financial peace of mind. They have less stress and less worry. Um, they, they, have, they get reimbursement for out-of-pocket expenses for injuries or health illnesses that happen with their pets. Um, it can be very expensive. If you look at the infographic there, cancer is $9,000, but who wouldn't want to pay it because the pet is a part of your family. That $9,000 can put a lot of pressure on your, on your employee. Um, it's also a part of wellness. 97% of doctors say that there are health benefits from owning a pet. It slows down your heart rate, it prevents heart disease, um, allergies, and depression. That's one of the biggest ones. Um, pet insurance sells itself. It's really fun to offer it. It's free for the employer to offer it, and there's little to no administration for the employer. Uh, it's a 10% discount to the pet insurance with a proper link, and we do the rest. So you want to put your company's reputation be behind uh, a supplier that is as conscientious as you are and has the same high standards as your company. I mean, that's your brand. You have high standards. So you want to choose the right pet insurance company. I can tell you I've had pet insurance um, for many years, even before I sold pet insurance. I had pet insurance through Progressive and Heartfill and now FIGO. FIGO is by far my, my favorite. It's the best rated and it has the best technology. Um, and it's very simple for employees to, um, to quote their insurance and to participate in, in getting um, all of the benefits of their membership. They would just go to insurewithlisa.com backslash pet and it's three steps to quote. Um, we can do a co-branded link if you like. Um, we can do one that um, links right into your website. We can do other things with your company logo to make it appear more like your, um, your own. Um, but insurewithlisa.com backslash pet is the default. The three steps to quoting are you just enter your uh, pet's name. You would put in some information about your pet, the age, the breed, um, 
whether it's a cat or a dog, and you would choose the coverages that you want. And it's all on a sliding scale. It's pretty much pick your price. You choose the deductibles and the annual maximum limit, limits that you can. You know, I'm not here to tell you how pet insurance works because you probably already know, uh, but I'm here to tell you why it's a great benefits and why, why your employees love it. Um, when they can quote so easily and get the insurance that they need, then they also get other benefits of membership like um, the pet cloud, which includes reminders for vet appointments, um, there's a pet ID that comes with ID number, which helps, helps with location of your pet should it um, run away. It's like a little tag that goes on their collar. Um, they store medical records for you. And even there in the app, you can find nearby dog parks or pet stores and things like that. It's, it's really a cool application. The claims are very simple. You do that through a smartphone or smart device as well. You just take a picture of the receipt that's given to you at the vet and upload it to um, your app and you get money back, depending upon whatever reimbursement percentage you um, selected when you signed up for the program. It's very, very simple and people love it. it sells itself. Employees just sign up for it because it's something that they already want. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, that was, Lisa, that was a great presentation. I personally am a dog mom um, and I cannot tell you how much I love having pet insurance. And I think a lot of people out there want the benefit. They don't realize um, how to get it or where to get started. So again, it's a zero cost benefit that you can add to your portfolio of benefits you're offering at your business. Yet again, another thing that we can do to in entice people to stay um, and, and really beef up that benefit package. Next, we are going to hear from Lee Stabler. Uh, he is from AZ Coaching and um, going to talk about Pathways. Lee, take it away. Thank you. So I'm going to be practicing driving my Mercedes by hand motions. Uh, this will be a new experience. It's not just touch screen anymore. Um, you know, for those that weren't on earlier, we were talking about how the new Mercedes uses hand gestures to change the volume on your radio or the like. So we've been in, told that you know, a swipe of the hand will move this slide. Uh, we'll see if that works. And so uh, how to thrive in chaotic times is relevant to what we're all experiencing today. We are in a unique period. We have, in my lifetime, and I'm 63, I've never been in a situation that has affected everybody in this country and in this world. We've had other circumstances that have been more localized, but in our business life, that does not stop at the door. It doesn't stop at the, the start of a Zoom meeting. We are experiencing changes. The, um, <clears throat> the programming that we offer is pragmatic. It is uh, practical in the sense of how do we get um, the experience of how I'm reacting or interacting with the um, environment. So there are three layers of uh, programs that we would offer or focus. The foundation piece is at the individual level. It gets the person to the point of understanding what is going on with me right now. It's just not what's going on out there. It's what is happening for me and what, how do I react? The productivity level is when it starts, how do I make progress for myself and interact with others? And creativity goes to the next level of how do I take my imagination and bring it into practicality? Sorry, my uh, Siri wants to join in. Um, the creativity for artists, the biggest, challenge that they face is I can see what I wanna do, but bringing it into reality is the challenge. We don't make artists that work in our program, but the creativity that is tapped there is the same thing that's needed to deal with change because we have to figure out what to do today because what we did before wasn't working. The, uh, in the foundational piece, we call it inhabiting change and moving to calm. They're two different programs and they are geared to the individual. In the inhabiting change, it's how to pay attention to what's going on with my experience as a metric or a measure or a tool for judging. Before I go into that meeting, how anxious am I? Am I ready to engage? Am I uh, concerned about what's gonna happen? 
moving to calm is a way to practically take some of the tactics that you might experience in a yoga class or other setting, but to settle yourself in, a, um, in moments. So again, all we're talking about is similar to what Shay spoke to earlier in that um, holistic sense, how do you apply this? How do you put it into practice? The next layer is as you get to understand and feel what's going on, it's how do you put this into action? How can I be productive in my life and in my job and for my company? Because it's about making money. It's not just about showing up and uh, cashing a paycheck. This is about the conversations, the communication. It focuses on the language that we're speaking to ourselves, we're speaking to somebody else, and what we're hearing, how we're hearing somebody else and how we're hearing ourselves all have an impact and can put organization to the chaotic uh, stresses that are going along as we're trying to do our job. Creativity is the uh, third part of our programming. And we use two different methodologies currently. One is uh, called paint by feel where we actually have people painting and using their experience to uh, generate an outcome. This is a way of moving that into um, intuition or that imagination into something practical. Again, the stretch that an artist experiences is what I see, I can't get on the canvas. I can't produce in the instrument or the, the phrase. It takes practice to bring that along. And the program that we do is about how do you move that forward? How do you bring yourself to that calm space from the foundation being productive, but now how do I create that new thing? How can I pre prepare for that presentation? Moving to calm is the same thing. How do I use my body to bring the best out of my creative side? Intellectually, we have been developed in our education to work from the neck up and to think through and do benefit cost analyses. We're now in our programming bringing the full person into that situation, into your workplace. And the um, solutions that get generated are more elegant and more creative than what might have come had we stayed within the tension of the moment. And uh, that's what we help open up. So in conclusion, who we are um, is, um, so, sorry, I assumed there was a different slide. So who we are, um, uh, Zuzha uh, Balhazi Kovac worked in the financial industry, in the um, IT industry for years and became a um, mindful coach, which is using the movement that she's always been part of from ball ballet into uh, yoga practices to somatic training to help address physical problems in motion. We adapt that into the workplace not because there's problems, but how to use that to center people. My background is from the financial industry. I've had over 25 years as a project manager. I was a scientist by education and I was good about the neck up. What I was missing is the joy in life comes from matching our decisions to how we experience our lives. So that's what uh, Juja and I bring. We'll be happy to customize and develop a program that fits yourself or your employees at a one-to-one -one level or as a group level. And we are focused on doing, so these are multiple sessions. It's not just a lecture that we're giving people the idea. We could give you the book, you could read, but you know that doesn't get it into your lives. So Lee Stabler from A to Z Coaching. Thank you so much, Lee. And we've worked again with Lee and Juja on a couple of clients and it's been very successful. And um, I know a lot of people when Lee and also, um, you know, when Shay were talking, some people were like, oh, you know, I work in an industry that maybe yoga movement, meditation might not work. Um, some of the clients we work with are construction and being able to even get people who are hesitant into that has been really, really good. So here's a couple additional benefits. Uh, and when we send out the information to everybody on the, on the presentation, we're gonna have a couple different resources here for the ideas that we've put and some of the contacts that we have. 
Uh, so some additional benefits, again, do relate to health. So we have, you know, fitness reimbursement. I always try and encourage people, if you're in New Hampshire, uh, to check and see if your healthcare provider already offers this. I know a while back uh, when I was at a company that offered Harvard Pilgrim, they offered $150 a year fitness reimbursement to kind of pay me back for the gym. Uh, so checking into that and letting your employees know, sometimes they don't realize that they can get paid back for those memberships. And that's really, really great. Back uh, a little bit with uh, what Allison said, paid volunteer time is so huge for people to know that they can take, you know, a couple hours um, to volunteer their time. One of the things we've kind of seen is paid volunteer time when it comes to nonprofit board work. So if you have employees and you want to encourage them to participate in nonprofits, make their community a little bit stronger, um, we've been seeing that. So, you know, a couple hours uh, they've been getting for a month to get paid into that. Virtual book club. That's something new that we've been seeing pop up and it's a way to kind of re-engage employees back into each other. You know, when everyone's gone remote, we've kind of gotten a little disconnected. Um, I mean, yes, we see each other on Zooms. Uh, we talk to each other on the phone. Maybe we're using Slacks or Teams, whatever, to communicate through texts and emails. But having a little bit of fun with employers, um, having it with their employees is nice because back in the day, you know, we'd call it sitting by the water cooler or sitting at lunch, going for walks. And now we're really kind of missing that one-on-one -on -one normal interaction. Um, so getting together, there's all kinds of different unique virtual book clubs and then employees can say, oh, okay, you know, and the cost of the books are very, very low and it gives them a platform to be able to engage with each other on something that they're able to do that's not obviously focused on COVID. Personal insurance review. Um, we have a couple of resources we utilize for this, but this is a great one. You know, a lot of people see those commercials for Geico or State Farm or Allstate or the general um, and we call and we do the work and then we let it go and we don't think about it. Well, there are personal insurance review uh, providers who will look, do the review for you. Um, every year, they'll make sure you have the lowest uh, cost. They'll make sure you're the strongest way of uh, being covered. Um, and it's also great when you're in an accident or have a situation to call somebody who knows how to process a claim, who knows what's going on, who's going to be the advocate for you. Um, a small story is I had been, uh, my husband was in a hit and run accident. He was fine, but his car was completely mangled. Well, the insurance company said they were only going to pay a certain portion. I called my broker. I was like, this is not our fault. I don't want to have this come down on us. She called the insurance company and she worked it out. It took it completely off of my shoulders and it was handled. And a lot of the stuff that we've talked about today is unique because it is about removing some of the stress that's happening at home so they can be more productive at work. Here's one of my favorite ones I was talking about uh, this morning, actually paid birthday time off. Who wants to work on their birthday? I joked that I never, I didn't work the day I came into the world and I don't wanna work any day that it on the day of my birth. It's not happening. Um, so uh, paid time off for your birthday is great. People love it. Uh, instead of using vacation time, eight hours uh, for them to go and celebrate themselves is huge. Um, pump at work. I know a lot of us are remote now, um, but pump at work is a really unique benefit for lactating moms, moms coming back to the workplace. It provides them with really unique support um, makes it so that your company can have a very appropriate space for moms to go and um, do pumping and then provides them a place to store that because when moms can come back to work and they know that the things that are at home are being taken care of while they're there, it's a huge relief and makes them more productive. It also helps them come back into the workplace and stay in the workplace longer. Um, so I know it's really, really important uh, to pay attention to that. Life Labs Learning, here's a unique one um, that helps provide virtual trainings for employees that connects them into different style pods when it comes to education. So this can be personal education uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, leadership or communication, dealing with conflict, um, or it can also help them if they want to learn other skills that help make them more efficient at work and or at home. Uh, so that's really, really great time management, organization, so on and so forth. So here are just a couple of unique things that we have resources for that we are going to put into our uh, information out to you to provide to your employees. And we always like to encourage doing this, you know, during open enrollments. Um, I know right now many of us are maybe feeling a little bit like a water hose has been sprayed at us with so much great information. And when you put it in a nice, succinct manner to communicate it out during a benefit open enrollment meeting, employees love having new things that they can reach out and have something taken off their plate. Um, I know we have lists that get longer and longer. And when you have somebody who's able to check one of those things off without you having to put too much effort into it, 
it's a huge, huge stress reliever. And I know right now in a world where stress is everywhere around us, helping kind of alleviate that at, at work is a great way to keep employees engaged, keep them retained um, and attract better and new talent to stay and make your organization better. So um, that's a little bit more of some additional unique benefits in the workplace. Excellent, thank you, Tony. Um, on behalf of Blue Lion, I do want to thank everyone that joined us today as a presenter. And I also want to thank everyone that took time out of their morning to come and learn more about each of these um, benefits that offer. Really quick, really quickly, um, Blue Lion is an HR consulting company. We offer fully outsourced HR. We have handbook creation. We do safety program creation, performance appraisal creation. We have a new service called HR Gap Coverage. If your HR human gives their notice, call us. We will fill the gap until you get that person replaced. Or perhaps they're going on maternity leave. We can also cover that for you. Um, and then we also have HR Hotline Access. Um, as we've mentioned several times, we are going to be sending out a copy of the slides. We are going to send out a recording of the presentation as well as supplemental material for all of the benefits that we've talked about today, including those that Tony and I presented on. Um, I hope that everyone found this time beneficial. And if you do need assistance with more ideas on benefits, feel free to reach out to Blue Lion. We really pride ourselves on being able to help employers be competitive, think of new ideas, and come up with creative solutions. I am going to stop the recording.